Joe Budden goes off on Queens Flip for pocket watching. That's right, on his Patreon, Joe Budden finally decided to address Queens Flip for the vicious manner in which he watches Joe's pockets. For those of you that don't know, one of the greatest pocket watchers of all time at the Joe Budden podcast is Queens Flip. I mean, this guy had questions about Joe Budden's prize pick ads, and he threw a hissy fit when Rory revealed that. He was getting paid $40,000 a month by Joe Budden. So what I'm going to do is break down this episode and then do the science on what it may mean moving forward. So this starts off on the Monday Patreon, the one that dropped recently. And it happens about two hours and 15 minutes in to the podcast. And Flip says that he is not really pocket watching. It's all the act. You know, it's just something for the show. Flip even mentions that, you know, it's a character. He's just trying to make content and says that he's not pocket watching by noticing certain things, you know. He just mentions that Joe Budden might be restructuring his studio, trying to join rooms or divide rooms. But once again, Flip says it's a character. But then Joe says pocket watching is quickly becoming a sport in America and says that even if Flip is saying that The pocket watching is just a character for him. It's not really how humans think. Right? He even goes as far as to say it's like Rory revealing that he got paid $40,000 by Joe is something that will always be on the back of Queen's Flip's mind when he negotiates. It's just what humans do. If someone's getting paid a lot, they might think they deserve that pay. But after that, Flip once again says that it's not necessarily him trying to watch how much Joe is making, but it's just his value that he's trying to accurately assess. Let me know what you think, listeners. Is Flip pocket watching, or is he just trying to demonstrate his value to the show? But that remains to be seen. After that, the $40,000 that Rory said he made comes up with the rest of the cast, Ish, Ice, and Joe noting that It really seemed to bother Flip, even if he was joking. He brought it up many times. On the podcast alone, I can think about at least five times where where Flip kept bringing it up. Even having a tirade. And though Flip says that it's all part of a act he's putting up, I truly believe that is Cap. And he might be shocked that Rory was getting paid way more than him. Now, I know Flip did pay lip service to the fact that that Rory was there from the beginning, though Joe Budden said that Rory wasn't there from the beginning, so it's interesting that Flip is saying he was there from the beginning. I don't know if uh, Joe Budden likes that, but I think Flip is severely upset that Joe Budden is someone who paid him less than Rory. And then Joe Budden comes up with an interesting theoretical proposition and says if he were to make the Patreon numbers public, How quickly would the members of the podcast go running to see how much the show was making? Now, Queens Flip tries to play it coy. Like, it really, you know, he would just check it, but he wouldn't be pressed about it. But Parks honestly says, I would be be checking it immediately. And the fact that Flip puts on an act like he wouldn't check it immediately, to me, means that he's lying throughout this whole conversation. (laughs) I know a lot of people are going to be like, well, how could you know? Well, it, why would you even front like that? You know Flip is going to go running out that studio. He probably has an app on his phone that will alert him if Joe Budden is making his Patreon numbers public. But this was kind of the gist of the conversation. Everybody kind of had their own tact when approaching the story. For one, Ish and Ice seem to illustrate that you know entitlement isn't a thing that they would do they would try to make the point that you know they're bringing value to the show and their compensation should be commensurate with the value that they're bringing but one of the undertones i think might be playing a part here is that the value flip brings might in some ways entitle him to bigger compensation than the rest of the cast because even though he's divisive people hate his guts people love him it's either one or the other he is someone that actually generates hard market value 
So for someone like Ish, Ice, Imani, even Melissa Ford to question his tactics may not be too accurate because what Flip does actually, I believe, increases the value of the Patreon. So maybe the questions he asks is going to be different than Ice. Ice doesn't do what Flip does. So it's easy for him to say that, you know, he wouldn't move like that. And on top of this, Ice says that he doesn't discuss business with Joe. So I'm assuming that is a referendum, even though it's not what he said. I'm assuming Flip goes out of his way to discuss business with Joe. Right? Whereas Ice will probably go through Ian or back channels. Flip goes directly to Joe. It's going to be interesting to see how this goes moving forward. As to if Flip will stop pocket watching, I don't think he'll stop pocket watching. That's just who Flip is. You know, he can't control himself. He just blurts out what he thinks. And it might come out in pocket watch. And it might come out in physical tirades. But we will see what this means moving forward. I got to say, this is the first time Joe really cleaned Flip up for pocket watch. And he's mentioned it before, but I guess this was a tipping point. I think what may have triggered him was when Flip said he noticed that the studio or something was being created. Walls were being torn down. But let me know what you think in the comments. Did you see the Patreon? I can't put any clips of it here because that is not allowed. I, I feel like there's been a new edict decreed for that type of content sharing. So I will not be able to share it. I'm sorry. Joe just doesn't allow it. Take it up with Joe. At him at Joe. Button on Twitter. I'm not going to do it. No more. All right, y'all. I got more content coming. Stay tuned. I got a video about Rory and Maul dropping real soon. This was a fascinating Patreon. They spent about 40 minutes on this, so it was real pod about potting. I enjoyed it. Hope you did, too. All right. Follow me on Instagram, The Stop TV. Follow me on Twitter, The Stop TV. This is Danny from The Stop. Peace. <laughs>